been in the ring. Talk to me about how when you went to wrestling school, what that was like for you. Well, for me, it was a little bit odd. Um, I didn't go to a traditional wrestling school. I got okay. trained on the job training. Um, okay. and, I, and I'll explain what why that is. Um, originally, when I was in radio, I was not in wrestling. I got, let me back up a little bit. When, when I was in radio, that's when I first got exposed to behind the scenes of wrestling mm -hmm. um, because I knew a promoter with WCW. His name was Chip Burnham. Okay. Super nice guy. Uh, I also had some contact with Dusty Rhodes. Uh, Dusty, through the years when I was in radio, would call me up. What do you need? And would supply us at the radio station all the time with T-shirts, hats, uh, wow. koozies, whatever that WCW product was out there, he made sure we always had a box full of it every month and didn't cost us a nickel and we gave it away on the air. Yeah. And when they came through town, they always had tickets for us to give away and they would purchase advertising. But yeah. I got to know certain people like Dusty Rhodes and Chip Burnham. And uh, so I got to learn a lot of behind the scenes, how this really operates and how it works yeah and over the years in the radio interviewing a lot of the uh the wrestlers in the back for the shows that were coming up and uh for the shows that had already taken place it, it became uh kind of like a second family where it, 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 again it was like yeah. i was in radio i knew i loved radio but mm -hmm. there was something about wrestling that was calling my name and i knew it and uh, a lot of the guys would always come like you would be a wrestler one day and i was a skinny little twerp i was like ah you know, <laughs> I was more about, you know, rock and roll and, you know, having fun on the radio. Yeah. And uh, as time went on, uh, things just, I don't even remember what the original question was now. I'm sitting there trying to remember. But I do know that uh, Chip Burnham and Dusty Rose have yeah. really helped me out in radio. And it came down to a uh, charity event. And that's where we were. The charity event uh, was a football game between the police department and our sheriff's department. Okay. And at that time, they needed something during halftime for entertainment uh, mm -hmm. between the, you know, the football game. And they said, well, we'll have a wrestling match. The fire department will face the radio station in a wrestling match. We put together a very rude looking ring. I mean, it was basically like four <laughs> barrels and some ropes wrapped around them. But we got out there and we put on a little bit of a show, which got the attention of a promoter that was in the stands. I, and I had no idea. Yeah. And he came up to me after the uh, after we performed and said, have you ever considered actually getting in the ring and wrestling? And at that point, I had been working out a little bit more and started getting my body more in tune where I wanted it to be. And uh, I said, actually, yes, I have. I, he said, come to our, uh, you know, facility. And he had just this little hole in the wall place with a ring in it. This yeah. is what those most places are. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, show me a few moves in the ring and see if I can take bumps. So that was the biggest thing. You know, can I take a bump without, you know, knocking myself silly? Yeah. And uh, people would be surprised just how hard those rings are. And not every ring is the same. I can also tell you that I've been in some rings where it, it you, you wish you could be in it every day. And I've been in other rings where you feel like you're being traction the next day. Yeah. So they're really rough. But I got through that and he said, all right, we're going to put you on a show. As I came out for my first show, the fans went nuts. And I, no clue why. They just immediately took to me. And it was at that point, they said, okay, you got to come to the next show and you got to do this, this, and this. And I'm like, oh my God. And I was getting pushed without any real training, without any real knowledge of why I was doing certain things. I could perform as far as showmen perform in front yeah. of the fans mm -hmm. and make them believe what they were seeing. But you have to be able to do that in the ring as well. And that was yeah. slow coming, you know, because it was every show is where my training took place. Yeah. <laughs> so I was training in front of the fans. And uh, over time, it, uh, I finally started catching on. Uh, yeah. But it took a while.